hundreds gathered on the outskirts of the Malaysian capital to show support for the missing passengers of the Malaysia Airlines flight and their families. Well-wishers wore white t-shirts, held white balloons and prayed for those missing. As the international search for the missing flight continues, new revelations surface on the possible whereabouts of the plane. Xinhua reports that residents in the Maldives Island saw a low-flying plane on the morning of the jetliner's disappearance. Meanwhile, Thailand's military says radar blips that could belong to the missing plane were seen but not reported until Tuesday because they didn't pay attention to them. CCTV's Barnaby Lowe joins us now from Kuala Lumpur with more details. And Barnaby, it's the question we're asking every day, but are they any closer to finding the aircraft? Unfortunately not, Elaine. Just based on what the authorities were saying at the press conference on Tuesday. Um, but uh, what, we're, what we know now is that... I'm sorry, Elaine. Uh, so many countries are involved now, 20, 25 countries are involved now in the search and rescue efforts. And this is making the search and rescue efforts more complex and more difficult. Now, uh, this, isn't, this isn't just because the search area is so huge, but this is also because they now have to, uh, to share more information, sensitive information, military information, radar information that they're not, uh, they don't necessarily want to share under ordinary circumstances. Where is Malaysia Airlines Flight 370? That remains the big question as the search now spans more than 2 million square miles of land and water, from Australia in the south all the way to Kazakhstan in the north. Malaysia has asked some 25 countries for help, mainly to try to locate the missing aircraft, but also for data from radars and satellites in an effort to narrow down the search area. This is a very complex uh, issue. We are talking about 25 countries and how to coordinate these 25 countries with different ideologies and system of government. But two reasons, two main reasons. One is, of course, as I said, we have excellent relationship with those countries that's involved. Two, because this is something that of concern to all of us on a humanitarian aspect. In the absence of facts, a number of theories have surfaced about how the aircraft seemingly vanished into thin air. Did it shadow another jet to remain undetected? Did it land on a runway somewhere? Had pirates taken over it? Yes, I have not Nick Puzlan, former uh, chief pilot of Malaysia Airlines, finds all of this hard to believe. I'm trying to imagine how, a, how any plane can shadow another plane in the middle of the night when the aeroplane is flying at 14 kilometers an hour, how it will rendezvous so that it sits directly underneath, how a turn is calculated so that it can catch up and stay under. Wow, Hollywood, Hollywood, so Hollywood. But some other theories, like the one in which the flight path had been pre-programmed into a computer, appear to be a more likely scenario, says Huslan. It is not difficult for someone to learn how to fly the plane using the auto-flight system. The 777, after you take off in KLIA, can fly all the way to Amsterdam without the pilot touching the controls. At all? At all. These theories remain to be just that, though. Theories, as long as Flight 370 remains missing. Now, there have been reports in the past few days that the U-turn had been pre-programmed into the computer 12 minutes before the co-pilot had said, all right, good night, but that has not been confirmed. What has been confirmed by authorities here is that the ACAR system, one of the communication systems of the plane, had last transmitted signal at 1.07 a.m. 1.19 was the last time uh, the plane had communicated with air traffic. The ACAR system could have been shot off any time between 1.07 and 1.37 because it transmits signals only once every 30 minutes. But uh, Malaysia's defense minister said that that has no bearing at all with what they're doing right now in the search and rescue efforts, and that is their main focus right now, Elaine. Well, and Bobby, we know that authorities have been investigating both the pilot and the co-pilot, as well as other crew members and the passengers. What's the latest with all of that? 
lane. Unfortunately, we don't know much about that as well. Uh, authorities here are not commenting on the investigation. They're saying it is ongoing. They don't want to compromise anything on that investigation. But as for the passengers, China has said that the more than 150 Chinese citizens on that plane are not connected to any terrorist cell. No indication that they would be involved in sabotage or any terrorist activity, Elaine. All right, CCTV's Barnaby Lowe live in Kuala Lumpur.